Hey Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for mid-September 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if that's the case, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And you keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. All right, Virgo, what is going on with you? Second half of... September. What is the overall energy? All right, and we have the Angel of Strength. Okay, so somebody here is working on their strength or is beginning to find strength, courage, possibly even compassion. So let's see what this is about. I feel like there's also a lot of support um, for you during this time from, from your spirit team, from from the divine, giving you strength to deal with whatever it is that you are dealing with, or also for your person. So let's see. Virgo. For the situation, we have the Eight of Pentacles crossed by the Hermit. All right, so there's your sign showing up. We have the Ace of Cups in the recent past, Judgment in the near future. For you, we have the Fool. For them, we have the Six of Cups. For you, we also have the Two of Swords. For them, the Chariot. And potential outcome here is the Queen of Swords. All right, Virgo. All right, somebody is trying to work on something here. I feel like you or your person or possibly both of you might be trying to work on your own self. I feel like there is definitely some distance between the two of you, so possibly not much communication. Um, but I feel like this is because you're actually working on something, working on something to do with this connection and working on your own self, finding certain things, certain aspects about your own self that is going to actually help you to get that strength. All right, so definitely a connection where there was a lot of love in the past. I feel like this love is, is still here because when you have the Ace of Cups, that's unconditional and it's timeless. So it's not like the love was there and isn't now, okay? If this love was here in the past, it's still here now, even if it doesn't really feel like it, all right, currently. So for you, we have the Fool and the Two of Swords. I feel like you're, You're on the verge of making some kind of a move, making some kind of a leap, which might feel a little bit scary, and for that reason you might be hesitating. Now, this move could be anything. It could be moving towards this connection. It could be moving away from this connection. It's basically taking a leap of faith or trusting. Trusting in the unknown. For them, the Six of Cups and the Chariot. So we have Cancer energy showing up. This person is feeling really nostalgic and I feel like there's some action that they are taking, although they might not really know exactly um, what it is that they're doing. We'll see. Definitely a decision coming up or a major revelation, possibly even transformation that is coming up in the near future. And a lot of clarity for the potential outcome. So let's clarify. Let's get the details here. So let's see, what is this Eight of Pentacles and Hermit about? All right, so we have the Sun, the King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody here knows that by either becoming more independent from a particular situation, that is going to bring them happiness. And I feel like that is what this person is trying to focus on. But I feel like they're, whoever this is, they're doing it in a way where they're just really closing off to themselves as they work on this, okay? Whatever that is. And that's why there might be some silence possibly between the two of you. Um, we also have Leo showing up here. 
I feel like uh, whoever this is, whether this is you or the other person, what's really helping here and what you're getting support on is your sense of self-worth and your sense of feeling like you can be either self-reliant or just free of a particular situation. I feel like there's... Um, Whatever the situation is, I feel like it's 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 a situation where you know you you or them want to be a provider, right? With this King of Pentacles, but I feel like there's there could be a little bit of over of overdoing something, and it could even be that there's some overthinking. All right, with the Hermit being in the challenge position, I feel like somebody might actually just be closing off a, a little bit too much to themselves more so than necessary in order for them to be able to to achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve all right so it could be you could be your person all right let's see the fool for your energy Four of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like there's something here you've been thinking about, and I feel like you've been thinking about it for a while. Um, when it comes to taking a particular action, which again would, would involve trusting in the unknown. Um, I feel like the more that you are healing or recovering from something in this connection the more intently that you are thinking about this and I feel like it's like this this feeling where it's kind of like bugging you like you know to leap or not to leap um, and you're thinking about it a lot because it feels like it's this burden on you and by taking that leap I feel like it's going to help to release that burden Let's see the Two of Swords. All right, we have the Nine of Swords. Give me one sec to grab that card that fell. Oh, and it's the King of Cups. Yeah, it's like you're doubting your own self when it comes to whatever this decision is. Um, and because of that, it's creating a lot of stress. It's not just carrying that burden. It's also creating a lot of stress for you. And I feel like this, whatever this decision is, it's difficult for you to make because there's, there's a lot of emotions here. A lot of emotions here in this connection a lot of emotions that you're feeling for this person um, and it could be that you are you're not sure how how your emotions will be if they will be stable um, if you will be able to balance them out or how it's going to make you feel I feel like there's a lot of like question marks around that and that is stressing you out but I feel like what's the most stressful is actually not taking that that leap or not making some kind of a decision here. Let's see for them. Let's see the Six of Cups. All right, and we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So this person is thinking a lot about, about you. There's a lot of nostalgia here, thinking about the past. I feel like this person is wanting um, a reconnection with you. Wanting that sense of stability with you, wanting this to be something long term. But they're not, they're not currently acting on it. I feel like it's a lot of um, thinking. And like I said in the very beginning, all right, I mean, this could be you um, in this hermit mode, obviously, Virgo, um, but it definitely could also be the other person overthinking something, just kind of closing off to themselves, you know, not 
it's like the work is being done, but it's being done in a way where where this person is secluding themselves too much. Almost like being so focused on something that they almost like, it's like they're losing the bigger picture, which is causing them to, to procrastinate a little bit here. Let's see the chariot. Because we do have movement there. And like I said, it is cancer energy. All right, so we have the moon, Pisces showing up, the wheel of fortune, and the six of wands. All right, so this person is dealing with something that feels um, a little bit unknown to them as well. Like I said, it feels like this person is taking action, not really understanding where it is that they are going. So this could be why, um, if this is them, that they are holding back or being quiet. It's like they're they're working, but it almost it's coming in like it's this guidance that is coming in. Like they're feeling this call to do certain things, and they're doing it, but they don't really understand why and where it's taking them. It's just more like really following their own intuition, but at the same time, they feel like they don't have control over what it is that is going on here. And so for that reason, there could be some fear. There could be some, um, like I said, hesitation. But whatever it is that is happening, it's moving them in this, in this direction of victory, in this direction of success, whatever that is, all right? So they don't know what's going on. They don't know where they're headed. They don't know why, you know, it's like they're working on themselves, not fully understanding where it's taking them, but it's taking them to something completely different than the situation that they are in now. It's, it's, it's turning things in a new direction. It's like this person is just really listening to their intuition and... I'm not even sure if they know that they're listening to their intuition, but it's like they're just following that. So let's see judgment for the near future. The Knight of Wands, the High Priestess. Yeah, see, there it is. I'm telling you, there, there's a lot of intuition that's at play here. And the Tower. So this could be, if this is your person, and I do feel like it is, um, this could be why, why they're feeling like they don't have control over this or why there's some fear associated with this. Because it's leading to a tower. It's leading to a huge change. Um, something being destructed, right, in the way that they knew it. And again, this is happening because they're taking action based off of their intuition. And again, I, it's there's a sense of quietness about this. Like it's happening behind the scenes, but even almost like it's hidden from them as well, like what this is leading to. But they can sense it. They can sense this tower coming up and that could be, you know, again, why they're kind of keeping to themselves. Almost like, the, like that's why they're building up this strength and that's why they're getting that support. And I do feel like that is for you as well. This could also be for, for some of you as well. I do feel like it's mostly for your person though. And this is leading up to like this huge transformation. I mean, look at this. They, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and Judgment here. So that's a huge shift or that's at least a very um, big discernment or some clarity that is coming in a major truth being revealed to this person which is actually going to not be very comfortable but yeah ultimately it's it's for their own it's for their own good let's see the queen of swords for the potential outcome here Death and the Ten of Swords. Something is coming to an end here. Um, I'm not sure if it is this connection, actually. Because like I said, we have this love here, right? To remind us that there is unconditional love in this, in this connection, right? If that doesn't resonate with you, this might not be your reading. I don't know. Um, just take what resonates and, and um, just kind of disregard what doesn't. 
but there's definitely some kind of an ending that is coming up here. And if it's not the actual ending, it's clarity about this ending or about an ending that that is like surrounding the energy, but might need to be finalized, might need to be like, all right, you know what, done with whatever that situation is. I feel like that is related to this tower. So, um, again, I feel like you're each kind of doing your own thing, like you're each kind of doing your own work, facing your own fears here. And in some way, this actually kind of unites your energies. Whether you end up together or not. So let's see, Virgo, if this resonated. The final message here is overcoming obstacles. You can overcome anything. Yes, you can. You don't need to be worried about the unknown or where this is leading you. It's like, just trust. Just trust the process here. All right, Virgo, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.